Welcome to Codex. Welcome back guys. It's been a long time after. So you know that your Flutter or any Android application which is connected to your backend PHP. So if you want to send a notification from your backend uh, on any user action. So I'll teach you that how to implement that. Okay. So first thing I have that created this project. No, hope so you are able to create your project now go to your project my project name is caddy cap okay so now go to your project settings and uh, before uh, the old way which is we are using the cloud cloud messaging api which is uh, disabled now and uh, which is deprecated and now it's completely disabled so you can use cannot use anymore so for new api integration you have to go with this go into your service account after vi visiting you can see the option that is generate new pair key so you have to click on it and you will be downloaded this file i have been already downloaded so i am not clicking it again because it will be change my keys okay uh, here is i created the firebase uh, service file basically so i'll share with the code with you this is my google client which is i have been installed or added using the my composer package okay so you have to implement this you can find how to implement with the composer okay you can search on google so first i have implemented i have created the file uh, so initializes that uh, google client firebase here and then auth and i did that json file path you can see here the path of json file i have been added here this is the scope for the sending message which is by default uh, so you can use the same and that process will return this client token so whatever we are we are doing this all these things for the token only so whenever when after that getting that token so this is send notification method i have created this you can create your own uh, i'll explain the basics first you have to add the message data which has the messages tokens token means uh, who do you want to send this message okay so that token will be received from the device and you have to show you save in your database and uh, that has to be added here by your programmatically and it will be send the notification on that particular token okay and this is notification title and mob body uh, that was uh, i have added from a custom event so you don't need to do that and this is my additional data which I want to take the action on my filter application so you can add your own here and the important thing is uh, that is this image for the notification which is I have made not compulsory this is important so this is basically I am requesting on the Google Firebase API uh, you have noticed here project Gadi cap so here you have to implement your own what is your project name or whatever it is so you will find in this url so project guardy cap you are maybe a project xyz something 001 this method is a post and that data which is i am adding in a json encoding you can there is only allow to send json content okay that's why and this is token which we have been got from here like we already whenever constructor will be called it will create the token and we have implemented that token and this is the response okay so i logged the response uh, for equity this is my test uh, function so i'm create initializing that firebase uh, firebase class or my library and uh, this is my token i have added uh, manually here but uh, it, you have to connect with database and mm, dynamically you can initiate that token okay this is title of my notification and uh, okay this auto complement auto complete is some disturbing <laughs> this is body of my notification and this token and that uh, that actions actually basically you have seen my function i have been explained before okay so type of notification or identification whatever it is i have used to take an action on the notification okay it's depend on you you can use it or not i'll share that uh, library that uh, uh, that file 
that firebase class on the github and share the link so you can copy that and use it for your project okay whenever you are calling that url you will get a response like this that means your message has been successfully submitted okay thanks for watching